Hey love folks, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to the channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. And you know, just being you and like I said, pushing out positive feedback, being open or vocal about, you know, the things that you're going through and getting more understanding about it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell down there at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. You can just up tell me about your impact again and how it impacted your life and send you towards positive direction and if the video has been very informative to you and gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and thank you so much for stopping by my channel I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and showing love and support to the channel as well and the video I'm listening to today um, is meditation music for anxiety, stress, relaxing flute music, enhanced positive energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, it's okay to not be okay all the time. I tell y'all, it's okay to not be okay all the time. Because when I'm not okay, I'm not going to show y'all I'm not okay. Because there's, you know, just like that one day when I did the video <clears throat> about uh, Daddy. If you, you know, if y'all watched that video, you know, that was very intense for me, even though it made a positive impact in my life. And I haven't seen Debbie since then. So obviously, you know, she couldn't really rest until that was, you know, that was said because it was like there were very rarely I come to her. But it was just like at times lately when I came when she came to me, um, not when I come to her, but when she came to me, I would get that heavy sense of feeling like Rosalyn I really need you to tell this even though I know you know it's uncomfortable because it's like you know when it, you know people sometimes make their money off of gossiping about you know celebrities and the things that happen in their lives but it was just like that's a tragic incident you know so uh, I just didn't want to put anything bad out there because I really didn't know any things except from what I seen on TV on um, like the movie and the thing when they had about the news but more in detail when it came to her and the stuff that she was like basically telling me about explaining to me the things she wanted me to say and the things that happened to her you know she had to show me what had happened for me to be able to tell her story me to be able to have that first hand you know the first front seat to that to be able to say something so it's okay to not be okay all the time it's like you know even though I push out love and like positivity all the time there's days that I'm in my itch mode and I don't want to be bothered <laughs> I get like that you know I get my, my nerves get set off the wall sometimes it's okay it's okay to be like that all the time I mean not all the time but sometimes but it's just like when you go through things like that it's just like we have our moments it's okay to not be okay we have our good days we have our bad days and you know you're you have your bad days but you still try to press through it and you know and me it's just like with me it's like sometimes that day I go ego it's like it'd be on overdrive and I'm just like I wish they had to go sit down somewhere and just go have a couple of chill pills take a value and just take a can and shut the f up you know just to leave me alone sometimes but it's just like I know I have to get through this because it's just like certain things I just want to wash my hands with it and not even go through the emotions I'm like I don't even want to touch it I just don't want to go through the emotions I just want to let it go but I know I have to feel it to get through it be able to let it go to get the understanding like okay yes this happened to me but what did you learn and grow off of this you know even though it's painful I have to be able to reflect on the things that traumatized me in my life I have to be able to you know accept them for what it was and go on be able to know that you know even though that's not a part of my life anymore that I can be able to heal from that you know so you know when you have your days like that you get mad you know go somewhere where you can just you know if you have time to you know some people go to these places and 
they have certain places in the city or whatever where you can go to these junkyards and start tearing up stuff. Just tear up something. Or you can go out to the mountaintop or go out to where somebody is and at and go ahead and scream and cry your whole heart out. Or, you know, do stuff like that just to make you feel good. But it's okay to not be okay all the time. Because if you okay all the time, something wrong with you. <laughs> something wrong with you and I know I'm going to stay away from you because that means that you're going to snap at any moment. So be able to have your little kumbaya yas. Be able to let yourself reflect on the things that you have went through but be also to be able to be able to heal from them and let them go because it's just like I'm in the process of doing it myself. So, you know, it takes time. You can't be hard on yourself and just wonder why. Why can't I get over stuff like that? You can't get over things like that because if it was, it would be a lot easier said than done. But you know, um, it'll be a, you know, it'll be easier for people to do that. But you know, we have to learn from all the things we go through. We have to be able to get strength and courage through the pain and experiences that we have. So you allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to let go, but allow yourself to be able to, you know, if you have to voice it out, not to be able to hurt anybody, but just be able to let your feelings out to let people know how it feels. I mean, how you feel. Not to be able to retaliate or, you know, get angry at anybody. But if you can actually have a civil conversation with somebody, if it has something to do with a person, be able to tell them how you feel. You shouldn't be able to, you know, have to tiptoe on stuff that, you know, that hurts you. If that hurts you, you got to let people know it hurts you. But if they keep, you know, they keep doing it, that means they don't need to be in your life in the first place. So, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And just allow yourself to relax. Be free. And know that things will be okay. <laughs> so like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. You know. Um, and just share. <laughs> and drop me a line. I love a chance to hear from y'all. No, y'all I'm just so hot. I don't got this no obligated. But know that you are blessed. Highly favored. Truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. It sounds much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Y'all I'm about to have a daggone fit. It's getting hot in here. Like I said, I'm going through my... um. Ascension um symptoms again it's going hot flashes, cold flashes. But yeah, I'm doing my post notification shout out to uh Lillian Alexander Lewis. Much much love to you, sis, and I hope you're having a blessed week. And I will talk to y'all my next video. Peace and be wild. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Bye.